Hello, West Pacific Market Analytics, and it's Glenn here for just a quick update on the markets. We're going to look at a few things here, uh, not too, too long in this report. I've been really, really busy on the Discord uh, platform. We've been talking about all the trades, been very, very active over there this week, and that's where our energy has been focused into this uh, move up, which looks like an A or a wave, two, excuse me, a B or wave two up. If you want to ask about the Destiny Trading Platform, uh, it's a six-month and one-year subscription. And I'm telling you right now, one or two trades would pay for the entire subscription. So it's at destinytrading at gmail.com. We do a lot of discussion around trade ideas over there on the site and give you updates on the trades as they're actively moving from week to week with when to take them out. We look at we look at targets of where to take our positions off. We could swing trade it in bigger moves. We would do that. A lot of times we'll make our entry at the low and then we'll just let it ride up to our multi-month high instead of churning in and out of these things, which you can do, but we don't like to do that too much. But if you want, you can do that. So let's just get into it. Quickly here, these charts and updates are for educational entertainment purposes only. And let's see what we're seeing here. And I want to look at this first really key model here. And you notice this absolute drain in liquidity here. And then that took a bit of time as the trend started to work down here. This is a liquidity a drain ongoing by a major bank in the world. And I'm telling you right now, this is our market top. This liquidity drain is showing that they are pulling the plug right here. Another model, you see the liquidity drain here. You notice us riding up right out of here, out of the May-June uh, move here, riding right up into this massive balloon of liquidity, riding up. You notice the bear cross in the channel, liquidity draining out, took a bit of time for the momentum to slow down. Momentum is now stalling and has rolled over. So we're looking at a big topping pattern right here into this liquidity drain. You notice here a couple of models saying, well, Glenn, you think it can go higher? No, I do not think it can go higher. You can see this out of 2022, everything moving up right to the top of the dock curve. The V below, we're done. Same idea here. You notice here we're moving up here. We came out of this low here, but you notice how the red was still above. So even back here into this sell-off, the red was build, building up. The red came down. We rallied up to the red. The red now has gone up. Now notice that our V channel is down here. This red is now getting ready to move down to here and then moving lower out into June and July. So no, I do not see higher markets. And this is a really key model I've been talking about around where this gives our target low for the market it in over today on the Discord platform. Now you notice here also we've got the V channel down here, this rising, trend breaking. It looks very much like it's over. Now here this is interesting. You notice the last time we had this zigzaggy blue signal focused up with the pink signal was back here in July of 2022. And then when that rose, You'll notice as that rose, the market still had a few candles up and then it collapsed. Well, we have the second time, we've never had this signal other than right here at this top in the market. Now we did have this signal here, but this was a false signal because it didn't focus with the blue. You notice how it was out here on its own. So that was not a key signal. This was a non-signal. Here it focused with the blue and here it's focused with the blue. Now when this turns up, you notice how the pink rose up to up here, and then that then marked close to the low in the market. We went down, we had a big candle up, and then we had one more candle into the low. So we're watching this pattern really key here for this next move down, which is developing. Now some other things got to happen. You'll notice this particular model here with this rising channel. It had a bit of a bear break right here, but that then continued up. We want to see this green roll over and cross below. So we're watching that. And you notice that when the market was above, it sold off to the channel, then into the channel, followed up the channel, above the channel, down below the channel, was too low to the channel, rallied back up, too high to the channel, came down, and we're still too high to the channel. So we're going to be watching this next move down, which is going to take us below the channel and see if that then pulls this over to finally get a bear cross in this rising signal. So this is a really key signal. This is a signal I call market confidence. 
So it's very, very important to see that start to head lower. Now, this whole process is going to take all of 2024. We're going to have some trades to the downside, then we're going to have some trades to the upside, and it's not going to be a major big sell-off into the elections. It's going to be very choppy as we top out. The bigger move will develop as we get out past the elections, but there's going to be some great opportunities from here to there. One of the trades we're short is the oil complex and as well the gold complex, and I'll show you why. You can see this nice triple top on the channel here. You can see that this Velocity continues to come out of crude oil, and our target right now on our short in the energy sector, at least we're going to see how it looks at that level, is down here at about 69.56. We see crude oil heading down to that level, and we are in ERY, and we continue to remain. We got in when oil was back up here on this hit on the channel, doing just fine in it. We're going to let it continue to roll. That is one of our trades. So you can see oil is really interesting, because here's that triple hit I just showed you. And again, you notice we had the bear cross here. Now, what's so interesting is you notice back here when we had the bear cross and then price working over to the V channel, and then it all collapsed, right? Well, the V channel has already rolled over and it's working lower. This speaks of not higher prices in crude oil. So in that last model, we want to see what it does down at about 69. But this has the capability ahead to head a lot lower. And why that is, I'm going to show you this final model for today in commodity. You notice commodity just went ballistic out of the Fed printing. I mean, look at that move up in commodity, right? I mean, absolutely huge. Thank you, Fed, for printing high food prices and everything else. Yes, blame it on the Fed for their trillions and trillions in printing. Everything's expensive right now simply because they're just printing, printing, printing. But notice here that we've then had commodity just flag sideways. We got our bear cross here in the momentum channel. We came up tested dock. Momentum is now heading lower into the remainder of 2025. That is saying that the inflation trade from 2020 is over. That means stocks are going to begin to deflate. That means everything in the commodity sector is going to begin to deflate. And that means gold is going to begin to deflate. Yes, they're all going to deflate together here. And that will be the story here heading out into the remainder of this year. Then we'll talk about it past there. So that's all I've got for you here today. Again, destinytrading at gmail.com. Glenn out. I'll be back at you. Take care.